so we were just forcing this gap. Ah. O'Neill's men, I think you could move up a bit. You know, just pour in a bit more fire. 26 can stay in position. Iverson, meanwhile, bring your men a bit further forward. Aha. And we have... Now we need to actually bring these guys in. Wow, you have taken a lot of punishment. But uh, not without good purpose. Daniel, come forward with your men. We want them to attack the artillery. Because um, we can do a lot more damage to that. It's worth more points. So stay in position, 45th. We might need you to come forward later. What are we doing? Okay, pressure is still on. But we might need to uh, focus artillery fire on these guys. Got a nice raking shot along there. So these guys are really flagging. It's only a matter of time before they break. And it should push them off their position quite soon. Watch your aim, lads. The Union front is slowly collapsing. They have enough regiments to put up a fight from all directions, but at the same time, they can't last for that long. Okay, Napoleon's, I think, needs to get a bit closer. So, put you there. Ah. Now they're really peeling away. Iveson's, Iveson's men are uh, a bit further back. And O'Neill's men. They'll put you in the woods. You two. A lot of dead here. Quite a few on our side as well. Definitely over here. Port of Georgia, fill this gap. Okay. Now we're forcing them. Oh, they're packing up, I think. I would too, to be quite honest. Alright. I think it's time for a mass charge, if possible. Confederates approach Cemetery Hill. Okay. 45th, uh, refocus your fire over here. At the double. Okay. Now it's time for a charge. But let's see how much damage we can do to these guys. Look at that. So many Confederates against Social Union. Good work, General. And we've thrown this battery back. Right, 4th Georgia, cover that angle. And we've captured the hill. So all that remains is to force these last defenders out of position. Wow, they continued their charge a little further than anticipated. Worked out though. And we can redistribute the remaining uh, regiments as we see fit. Okay, O'Neill, support your men. Rhodes, get closer to the main effort.
Daniel, um, come here. And Doyle's there. We might be able to Reporting charge these guns. Oh. Reporting, General. We force those to surrender. That's quite rare. That's when they have no avenue of retreat. Is when they surrender. Um, Reporting, General. You're going to charge? Aha. Uh -huh. And the 73rd Pennsylvania also surrendered. Double line. Very good day so far. Okay. Now, where can we put our rifles? I think... Are we getting decent lines of fire on those guys? Yeah. Napoleons can come up to the woods. Rhodes, go over there. O'Neill, attach. Attach and double lines. double lines here. Uh, Doyle's over with these guys because we want them to charge in a second. Daniel, um, bring your men forward. Double line! In double line. So we can't take these guns. Sir, Unlikely, but worth a shot. Away they go. You. Hold! Okay, we've got them into a bit of a sticky situation here, but they should hold. Okay, they're no longer flanked from two sides. Enemy is going to attempt to flank, but we can stop that. Yeah. Now we can really drive them back. Double line! Yeah, it's a complete mess of Confederates up here. Um, let's see if we can get some order going. Double line. Another double line. Is he trying to lead some troops around? Hope not. That would be annoying. Double line. Yeah, keep moving everyone forward there. Uh, can you stop falling back, guys? Because uh, you're falling all the way to the rear, so there we go. Have to manually order them forward rather than turn off fall back. So we still have artillery fire coming in. Not much we can do about that. We could... Uh, in fact, move our rifles onto this ridge now. It's quite safe. O'Neill's men keep, double line. keep moving up. Doyle's double, double line. line. Keep pushing. Only good things can come from pushing. And charging, in fact. <laughs> Away go the guns, of course. We get into a firefight. Uh, into these rocks. Bit more cover. You come up and you fill this gap. Iverson. 
double line. Yeah. Speed things up a bit. They can't take back Cemetery Hill, at least. Flight and attempting to rally. That is the battle over for today. So only a tactical victory for whatever reason, despite the fact we uh, took out almost half their forces, capped the hill, and forced free surrender uh, regiments. Hmm. So, most effective, 3rd Alabama, most effective, Brigade O'Neills, and hardest fighting, 33rd Massachusetts. So, let's see what happened. Yeah. I see. They kind of... kind of concentrated into uh, a uh, double line, and we just pressed the flanks and broke through. And there's surrendered brigades going back, or surrendered regiments. Almost brigades were surrendered, actually. And yeah, we just, they never reorganize after that, and we just keep knocking them back. So, overall, a good day. Longstreet, sir, can you not see the hand of providence in the glorious victories of our men today? If I were a church-going man, I'd have to agree with you, sir. Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, and now it seems as though Gettysburg shall go down as another victory for our southern arms. Surely we have demonstrated the rightness of our cause. Tomorrow we shall press the advantage our men have gained here this day and destroy those people. 